those of you who've been around here for a long time like me know that the first thing I say it's a glorified practice, but uh, uh, it's a little frustrating at times, the things that we've been working on. I didn't feel like we were emphasizing enough out there, uh, but uh, uh, that's the reason you have exhibition games. That's the reason you have 26 practices up until today, and the good news is uh, we'll study the tape tonight. The coaches are great to tape tonight, and we'll show the players tape tomorrow. We'll try to do some things to get better. Uh, but, uh, they seem to have more interest uh, or better ability to drive the ball, the basket, and kick than, uh, uh, than we did to stop them. We know that Notre Dame's going to shoot a ton of threes and uh, much more skilled, blessed, is a better way to put it, blessed athletes than what uh, Winston-Salem did. But I think we gained a great deal more from it than we would have if we had been just practicing. Uh, but uh, don't know anything about B-Rob. Uh, they're going to have some x-rays made tomorrow morning. and. Uh, no more after we see that. Anything kind of jump out at you that you gained from tonight? They know I can get mad now. <laughs> That's, they've been in the back of their minds. They didn't know that for sure, but they, it's uh, removed any doubt now. Roy, how's the, how's the defense been coming along? We've been doing some nice things defensively, and tonight uh, uh, we started making mistakes. We forget who the heck we were supposed to be hard after the head it sort of went downhill. But, uh, uh, you know, you look at numbers and they shoot 32%, but uh, we gave them way too many open drives to the basket, particularly in the first half. In the second half, they drive and we had somebody help, but then they kick and uh, well, they shoot 16 threes in the second half and made four. It looked like to me they made 14 out of 14. But uh, uh, it's, uh, I always say that Coach Smith used to say you shouldn't get too mad until you look at the tape. So I'm already too mad, so I'm not going to say anything else until I look at the tape. Coach Williams, can you just speak? I have a two part question. Could you just speak on? the respect that you have for Coach Big House Gaines. And on a second note, what would it take for players like a, a Cole Anthony or Mondo Baycott to come to and play for an HBCU or a team of that level? The second one, I have no idea. You know, Earl Pearl made him look good. And, yeah. uh, you know, some of those guys, uh, and it can be done. Uh, what's the big guy that was a big time rebounder in the NBA, played at Virginia Union, I think. Yeah. Ben Wallace. Yeah, Ben. Yes, sir. So it can be done, there's no question about that. Uh, they have to have the ability first, but then they have to have that just unbelievable desire to outwork people all the time. And uh, Big House, he was, uh, Coach Gaines was great. He was great to me. Great to me when I was a young coach, great to me when I was an old coach. And uh, uh, my favorite stories were in uh, Houston, Texas. And uh, I said, Coach, you have anything planned to get you something to eat? And he says, no, not really. I said, i got a great barbecue place over here. He says, that sounds good. Where is it? And I said, won't you just follow me? And I said, in fact, if you want to ride with me, you can. He said, no, no. I, I guess so we went there, and I was his friend the rest of his life. He just showed us one of the best Texas barbecue you'd ever seen. And he reminded me every time I'd see him. He says, you got any place in this town? And, uh, you know, coach stood for so many great things of uh, being, being a great basketball coach, but caring about people and trying to make sure that all his players got to be better players, but more importantly, got to be better human beings by being with him. And so that's a pretty good legacy to have. Can you talk about uh, Leaky Black and his place? Right. Leaky's, uh, you know, the first, uh, what do we have, 26 practices, I guess, the first 10 practices, he barely practiced. Since then, he's been getting it more and more. We've been trying to go slow with him. He had one stretch today. I think he had three assists in a four possession stretch, and that was my favorite part of the game. But. Uh, for us to be a really good basketball team, uh, I think he's got to stay healthy and play and not make the silly mistakes he made today. But uh, uh, seven assists, one turnover, uh, two for three from the floor. I don't mind if he shoots more than that. I like him taking the ball to the basket. But uh, seven assists and one turnover is the best part. What do you like about what Andrew's been doing and what he can give you guys? Uh, Andrew, uh, he's a good shooter. What did Andrew shoot? One for four. He's one for four from three-point line. He was 0 for ever how many he took of stupid floaters. If you look. Justin Jackson, the only guy I've ever seen he can make floaters. And so he's got a few more ways to show me that he can make them. We're going to put them in the basement. Uh, but he's a tough kid and tries to do the right thing, made maybe the best pass of the game, uh, pitching it down the court to Armando as he was running down. Uh, he had three assists, zero turnovers. Uh, Andrew's a tough kid, too. He missed good bit of preseason practice, too, for his ankle as well. What were the issues on the turnovers that you saw? Stupidity. Was Cole Anthony trying to force it, in your opinion, tonight? 
I don't know, Cole's a playmaker. He makes a lot of plays. Sometimes he's going to uh, make mistakes. I thought he made a couple of times where he penetrated. He got too far in there with two or three guys around him. What you need to do is penetrate, and then you got to stop at a point where you can make the play for somebody else or make the play for yourself. If you get too far in there, then you can't make a play for anybody. Uh, but uh, he's been sensational for us. And uh, uh, the good news is if I have to worry about Cole, I'm, I'm guessing I don't have any worries. Take one more he's been really good. I'm sorry, take one more because he wants to go check on Brandon. Roy, with, with Leakey and, and Justin both playing kind of different positions, does that, does that give you a little bit of flexibility in terms of your lineups? Well, you know, guys, right now we have eight guys that I feel like I've gotten confidence in. I'd like to get another one or two. Uh, we have eight guys, and which means some guys, Leakey's going to have to play one, two, and three, and Justin's going to have to play three and four. Uh, and so it's it's harder to cross the line. We have point guard position, we have two wing positions, and two post players. If you go across the line from one of those positions to the other, it's difficult, and Leakey and Justin are the two guys who I have to do the most. Thanks, Coach. Our Thanks, players are available, uh, not in the deck.